We've got six-time Nahoku Hanohano Award-winning musician Bobby Modero Jr. performing live in studio. Plus, Melly James from Mana Up is here with Maui Chili Chili Oil to spice up the show. We've got all the details on the upcoming Mana Up Showcase 2023. It's all happening right now on High Now Daily. And welcome to Hi Now Daily. I'm Rachel Pocaro and my co-host Kainoa Carlson, he's out on some vacation, much needed for that fella. But of course, I had to bring in another handsome young stallion and look at this. We've got Bobby Madero Jr. here, six-time Nahoku Hanohano Award winning musician and the founder of Mauna Lua. Thank you so much it's for joining me. So awesome. so awesome being here. Oh my gosh, this is really, really cool. It's amazing what you can get on Craigslist nowadays, guys. <laughs> Because this happened really, really quick. We were working together just last week, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden she commandeered me, hit me over the head, and I woke up in the studio, and here I am. Well, you know what? I'm like, what? And he, <laughs> he finally came too, and he's so excited. I I'm almost very feel like excited. I know Carlson in this uh, Manuheli. We're both rocking the Manuheli, of course, right? It's just yeah. the way to fly. It's the That's way right. we roll. So. That's right. I mean, because you're looking sharp, man. I gotta I say. I feel good. Well, I'm just trying to keep up with you, beautiful. Yeah. I'm just oh, trying well, to keep you. up with you. So I'm really excited to be here, to share my stories, to share my music, to share my wisdom, the Portuguese-isms that you're going to get. I can't I, send you my bill. It's going to oh be amazing. But seeing life through a clean screen, that's that's what I want you to understand. Okay, All sweetheart? right. Well, you know, we're happy to have you. We've got Bobby Modero Jr. He's going to be joining me all show long as the co-host of High Now Daily right now. But I mean, let's talk story a little bit. Give us a background on what you've been doing, what you're up to. You know, so, what's happening with you, these you know, days? music since the pandemic and since everything, you know, went down, you know, we're definitely the bottom feeders. When you're talking about music, the artists of Hawaii, we're the bottom feeders. So it took a while for the dust to settle down. And since it has, it's been amazing. We've seen people now coming to Hawaii from all around the world. Japan is taking a little bit longer for mm -hmm. them to come out. I just got back two weeks ago from Tokyo and they really, really want to get back to Hawaii. So I'm waiting for them to get back. The music has been amazing. Um, when it comes to uh, getting out there with my band, either with my band Mauna Lua or solo, just the Bobby Motero experience. <laughs> it's it's an experience, guys. <laughs> oh, it always is These an guys, experience. he's so fun. Wow. Well, it's it's. I think a huge part of music is the commentary. It's being able to explain yourself and your music, getting getting people excited about the culture through music, one song at a time. But when you're done performing that song, it's it's getting that prologue to, to understand what that next song, why did it touch my heart? Because if you understand that, it'll then touch yours. Absolutely. Music heals, and I think we need more music now than ever. Amen. Right? And so yes. you brought a song for us today that you yes. can perform. Yes. So it's What's a song. I, I released my solo album uh, a couple of years ago during the pandemic. And uh, I always pondered if there was music in heaven. And so I was writing this song about, you know, there's got to be music in heaven. There's got to be music in heaven. And I, I, I couldn't get the end of the song. I, I, and so I was writing it at a Starbucks with my daughters. They're young at the time. And I'm writing the song and I'm playing it. And I'm playing it. And I'm playing it. Unbeknownst to me, there was a homeless guy sitting across the way. So he comes over and I couldn't get the end. And he goes, he walks up to me and he says, hey, man. I'm like, oh, you want Dala? He goes, no, 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 no. I just want to let you know that I've been listening to you play this song over and over again. You don't have the end. I said, no, I don't have the end. I'm all good. I'm a Hoko Award winner. I'm Bobby Madero. You can keep moving on. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know like how you say you hope there's music in heaven? And if it isn't, you said you'd rather stay down here? I said, yeah, that's what I wrote. He said, well, what if you took your guitar with you to heaven and you'll be Aww. taking music to heaven? And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. So I finished the song. He helped me finish the song. I wrote it. I ended the song. I looked up. The guy was gone and asked my daughters, I said, girls, where's the man that was standing right here? Yeah. And they said, daddy, he's gone. And I'm like, wait, wait what do you wow. mean? He had a back, the man with the backpack and the beard. Yeah, dad. I said, yeah, where is he? He's gone. And 
two things. First of all, you never know where inspiration is going to happen. You never know who's going to help you, who's going to be there in that time of need. Mm -hmm. And secondly, I got four other songs not finished. I got to find this guy. Yes, go by I gotta, I gotta, him. <laughs> if you did that, you watch it. Come please, find Bobby. Find me, please. Brother. <laughs> How about you spend Musubi, please? I love it. Yeah. I love it. That's such a beautiful story. And we want to hear part of the song. Absolutely. So if you could share that with us here on High Now Daily, we've got Bobby Modero Jr. Absolutely. It's great Thank being here, guys. Music in heaven. It's gotta be there, baby. There's gotta be music. There's gotta have all of my heroes there. There's gotta be singing. Cause if there ain't, I think I'll just stay down here. When I think of all of my radio. Jones, Waylon, and Cash. Heaven must be the place to be. The grandest soul I breathe this world ever had. If you could only hear them sing again, hear the words of every I'll just stay down here. If there ain't, I think I'll just stay down here. Oh, if there ain't, I think I'll take my old guitar with me. Hi Now Daily, and he's going to be joining me all show long. We'll be right back.
All right, welcome back to High Now Daily. Right now, we are with Nelly James, co-founder of Mana Up. And she's brought with her Darren and Kit. Yeah. How's it, you guys? You guys from Maui Chili Chili Oil, right? Correct. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. What, yeah. what are yeah. the yeah. businesses that are part of Mana Up, right? Yes, yes. All right, well, let's start off with you, Melly. Let's talk a little bit of the Mana Up showcase that's going to be happening pretty soon. Yes, so Mana Up, we're a business program. We help grow local product entrepreneurs to scale the global markets, create jobs and opportunity here in the States. Obviously, Maui Chili Chili Oil is one of our companies that are graduating from cohort eight, but our showcase, which is our annual showcase, will be happening on November 9th, Thursday at Bloomingdale's, and we're taking over the entire third floor, and it's an incredible celebration of entrepreneurship, growing small businesses, you get to go shopping, there's food and drink and music, and it's just this great positive celebration of all that's happening to diversify our economy. Love it, I went last year, had so much fun, spent so much money, so bring your wallet, okay? <laughs> do your shopping. Yes, yes. do your shopping, and that's what it's really about, it's just leveling up and helping these businesses grow. Right? Absolutely, and all the products that are going to be at Showcase are new, new flavors, never seen before products. So there's a lot of kind of new things that are going to be happening at the Showcase. Okay, and I gotta ask you two, how yeah. has it been part of being a part of the program, the business program? It's been a exciting six months with, with Melly. There've been mm -hmm. great mentors. We've had access to resources. As small businesses in Hawaii, it's so hard to be a small business in the middle of the Pacific, you know, isolated from everything. But with Mana Up, it allowed us to connect to many different resources. And many different companies. So uh, our classmates in our cohort are awesome. I was going to swear. <laughs> don't swear, it's live TV. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Bobby, mind your yeah. <laughs> yeah. He almost yeah. left. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, there's like a wealth of knowledge before we even came into the program from our uh, our classmates, and you, you know we could, they got to share everything. So you know it just made us even that much more better. My question yeah. to you, Darren, both of you guys, uh -huh. is husband and wife <laughs> working together in a company. Very spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I know. That's why I'm like, is that where the spice comes from? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lots of like, you know. No, but that's me because my father had his own construction company. Oh, you know? okay. So my mom was a secretary. My dad wore many hats. Um, it's, it's it's an amazing thing when you can you can taste it in the product, the love that you guys have, and it, it, it transcends. Oh I yeah, really yeah that. definitely. Yeah, Absolutely. Everybody. Yeah, we say infused joy. That's oh, I love kind that. of like our yes. mission. Infused so. joy. Infuse I love joy. that. Yeah. You're talking about you can taste it in the product. So right, let's right. talk about what you brought today. You have some chili oil here. Yes. Tell us about that. So yeah, this is uh, it's the same flavor that we have, but we have a mild, a medium, and a spicy uh, mm. heat level. So depending on how spicy you like things, mm. or We're how gonna... bad you are at your spouse. Yeah, there you exactly. Go. <laughs> yeah, and you sleep a little extra. <laughs> We're gonna yeah. use today the mild kind spicy, okay. so okay. so we can share it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, and the gyoza first. Yeah. Okay, sure. So there the mild, um, it's a Sichuan style chili oil. It's a Chinese inspired with a lot of uh, crunchy garlic and onions in it, Ooh. and it's got it's Chinese spices and it's very fragrant so yeah. make sure when you buy your bottle you mix it up so you get everything yeah. oh yes 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 and then oh, when you open yes, it yes. there you That's go the don't get it all over the place so we're gonna do gyoza first yeah gyoza we right. wanted to show the versatility of the product so we, we're gonna use it as a sauce right okay. now right yeah. so we're gonna have okay. some show you right did we take off the cap of the show you? This is no, one, no, not yet. So. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. Yes, so we, our, oh, quick. our product is low sodium, so you add your own oh, sodium. Right, right, right. So we're going to put some show you yes. in here. Are we going to use like this that. spoon? This yeah, uh, yeah this sure. Spoon? Is it? And yeah, just oh. do a dollop, add a little bit or add a lot, depending on. It looks awesome. Yeah. And then oh. add a little bit of oil. And some lime to twang it up. Yeah. Oh, you and then that's it. Yeah. You have a really elevated dipping sauce. I right. love right. I love sauce. I love to put sauce all over <laughs> everything. Just oh, yeah. eat stuff extra, right? If yeah, like this is yes. the gyoza. Is it okay we go? Oh, go, yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, we need a lot. I know, I know, I know. I know. Like, hey, auntie. Sam, I never have lunch. Brother, 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 you go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Okay, no, yeah, I'm not even oh, waiting for his reaction. Keep so I'm quiet. Going. Good? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so good. Okay. quiet, he just said. <laughs> That's, That's how you rare. keep a Portuguese person quiet. quiet. <laughs> you give oh, them good you food. Know. <laughs> <laughs> mm, oh my gosh, okay. So this oh, one. Ooh, that one's good. Okay, yeah. So it's got a little heat. A little bit of heat. A little, a little bit of heat. heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So it's got a little bit of heat from the uh, Sichuan peppers that we use, and mm. then the mm. medium, and the mild, uh, medium and the spicy, we put ghost peppers in it. So a little bit in the medium, mm. a lot in the. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what are we making next? Yeah, beautiful. And the, and the more it's sitting on the tongue, like the flavors mm. are coming. Right, warm, right, right. Yeah. And it's yeah. got Sichuan peppercorns in there, so you're gonna get a little bit mm. numb, so that's it's all good. Though. I like it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, now as you mix yeah. up, you've got the egg salad going, and as right, you get right. that going, I wanted to move back to you, Melly. Yeah. There's also a concert coming up, right? Yes, Tell so me about on that. November 8th, which is this Wednesday at the Hawaii oh Convention God. Center, oh we're gonna be featuring Anuhea as our headliner, wow. and uh, we're working with Haku Collective, Kimie Miners Group, with six rising artists to watch. Ooh. There'll be six of these rising artists who have created their own songs. They'll be performing and the winner, everyone gets to vote, will, will be able to open for the Hawaii Symphony Orchestra, which is the big prize. So Trish Nalei last year mm -hmm. got to win and open for Paula Funga at the at the shelf. So that will be happening again this year with whomever wins. I love oh, that. Yeah. Man, that's very you know, and I think what, what I love most about this is it's sustainability. I mean, everything across the board, everything that has to do with this organization is locally sourced. You know, non-GMO, free-range kanaka. <laughs> <laughs> so what was really cool is being, <laughs> being able to have that, because we have so much talent here. Absolutely. Culinary, music, um, otherwise, right? So why, we need to source that more yeah, locally. Yeah, a great platform Absolutely. that can really shed that light on and share what all these great talents are in Hawaii. So that's really what the showcase is about. And what's exciting is we're gonna have a live stream as well. So folks who are on the mainland or on neighbor island that can't come to Oahu mm. for either of the events, we're gonna have an hour long show on Hawaii, Hawaii News Now on November 19th at 8 p.m. Live streamed as well on Hawaii News Now's um, live stream, uh, which is going to be featuring all the entrepreneur stories, all the music at the concert. So this really wonderful variety show, plus of course online shopping oh, and lots of giveaways, man. which I can get into in a little bit. Okay, mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, so uh, so much going on. So we've got the concert, <laughs> we've got the showcase, we've got the chili oil. So I gotta know where everybody can get all the information. Yes, manaupshowcase.com. Everything's in there. Awesome. And then if people want to get your chili oil, you gotta just go to the showcase. You can purchase yeah. there. But yeah. also, you guys have a website. Yeah, you guys have some Maui Chili Chili Oil. Dot com. You can purchase there, but we'll be having um, at the showcase. We'll be having our uh, mini trio, which is this box right here. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be featuring the mild, mini, uh, mild, medium, and hot in 1.5 oh, ounce bottles. Cool. So it's a good stocking Ampler stuffer, right and it'll be exclusive to Mana Up uh, mm -hmm. for a limited time. So yeah. Come to the showcase and we'll have it there. Yeah, sounds wow. good. I love this. Okay, now we are gonna have to try because yeah. We're so excited. we're we're doing the egg salad. So everybody knows how to make egg salad. You just put egg, a little bit of salt, and uh, mayonnaise. So mayonnaise of your choice. And then what we did is we put a little bit of uh, chili oil just to elevate the taste. And then we add a little bit of ham. And of course, it's gotta be on. Uh, King's Hawaiian. Oh, yeah, it has to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I just yeah. came back from vacation in Japan and it feels like I'm right back over there with yeah. the ham in the it, egg it, salad. Ham oh, egg salad. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's, yeah, I had that. Yeah, that's that's so yeah, yeah but this one is better though. This, one is, better. this is way better. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Way better. Wow. <laughs> but I think that's better. <laughs> yeah. We're going to try and cut it up, but yeah. No, 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 no. We all so just take a bite. That's no big sandwich right there. Yeah. So all you do is cut it up. Okay. Oh wow! Yeah, and then you can make a little like sliders or you know. That's but so cool. The oh, bread is what it. also For the elevates soccer it. Team, yeah. You know, love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just have a few seconds left. So if there's okay. anything else you wanted to add, Melly, before we dip into these sandwiches, definitely. So <laughs> manaupshowcase.com. There's going to be over 40 giveaways, uh, two Wait. tickets on Hawaiian Airlines, a year of King's Hawaiian sweet bread, oh. a year of Zippy, Zippy. a year of Waikia, lots of crazy and amazing giveaways if you register for free and RSVP for the live stream. Mm. Oh my yeah. God. Gosh, you heard it right here on High Nile Daily, so go ahead and check out the live stream. Also, go and take a look at the showcase. That's 2023 that's happening. So, all kind of things. And the spicy comes part. with one yes. fire extinguisher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Regret, so, but so, not yeah. much. One, just one yeah. per customer. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And check out Maui Chili Chili Oil. We'll see you there. guys. Yeah. All right. Yeah. right. You're watching High Nile Daily. We'll be right back. The fire
right, welcome back to High Now Daily. Now I've got these two brothers next to me. We have to invite Drew over because we usually like to incorporate incorporate you into our food segments. Yeah, and I, I heard I love that. I love getting to eat with yeah. you guys. And we you love it fun. too. Introduce, <laughs> some, yeah, definitely yeah. new stuff that you haven't had. Yeah. And this, so which is good. funny, we usually introduce some of the local foods that you haven't this had. But, but when you said you hadn't tried tofu, I <laughs> oh, fell out of my chair. Oh boy. I guess I, when I was growing up, I my food palette wasn't very diverse. I ate a lot of chicken nuggets and <laughs> chicken nuggets. Yeah. All right, yeah. that's yeah. not my kids. Gone here, I, There's not a lot. Yeah, no. So were you? from originally? Uh, Dallas. 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 Yeah. yeah. Right. They don't do a lot of tofu in Dallas. <laughs> yeah. No. So what we did no. in the last segment was we have Maui chili chili oil. Come okay. on and show us some ways that you can incorporate the chili. They had a variety of ways with the gyoza and we did it in the egg salad sandwich. And then good. now we're going to put it on some other so, things here. So just a little background. So tofu, right? It's soybean, right? So it's a yeah. curd. And so by itself, it kind of tastes like what you like when you pack bottles and you put that white stuff around it. Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes if you chewed on that, yeah, by itself. <laughs> so you don't want just that, right? You gotta add something. So you gussy it. it up a little bit. Okay. So what we do is we put the yeah the Maui chili chili oil on yes. it, okay. and it gives it a nice little. This is the foundation. The tofu is the foundation, and the the, 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 the this chili sauce is the color. Okay. okay? Yes. So and you're gonna I get a little you, crunch in there too. You're gonna so get a little crunch from it. Yes. Yes, that's what so, we're gonna do. So we're gonna give you this you chocolate you, you can use hashi, bro. Yeah, you ah, can. You can. Oh, God. Okay. I'll tell you okay, about it later, Bobby. Oh, boy. I gotta <laughs> see this. I'll show you the okay, video Marilla, later. Okay, Marilla, I love it. Should I take, should yeah, I take you, one you, with more? Yes. Yeah, one. Yeah, you got it. All right. Okay, here we go. The inaugural tofu. I'm so excited. Oh, boy. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. And it's so good for you. Okay, we gotta give him something else because you can also put it on. Okay, we also okay, have so what else do we right need? here. This is from Zippy's, yeah? This is the one ton min right okay. here. One ton min. So you get all the fixings that we have here. I gotta put it in here. Add that all in there, but yeah. we wanna gussy it up a little bit more. Ooh, so we got the char stew. You got the dash. Okay. The dashi. The, yeah, the char stew. This is the, the um, yeah, broth yeah. that goes on the, yeah, the, on the dashi. Top. The dashi. Yeah, that? so you add yes. that, and that gives it a nice, you know. Okay. And That's then. The here we go. Okay. We add the chili, the chili sauce? Yeah, yes. you okay. said you it. Kind of, yeah, we you gussy it up it. with the chili sauce. Oh. I love that you say gussy up. You gotta I love that. Gussy you gotta up. gussy it up. Yeah, you gotta yeah. gussy it up. Oh. You gotta gussy it up. We went gussy up. Go ahead, don't mix it in there. Yes, because you know boy. You know about zippies, so. I do love you some zippies. All right. So we're just adding a little bit of chili oil in there just for um a little bit of that spicy flavor. Yeah, we call pika. If the bugger is a little bit pika, just taste a little bit more no, you know what I mean? You yeah. like it? Oh, look at Very that. Good. Yeah. Like she that. Go, yeah. And then you drink she the go. broth. Drink the broth. Yeah, you gotta if you drink can. the broth, yeah. How's All in, yeah, the whole thing, one time. Go. Go, Drew. Chug it, chug it, chug oh, it, no. chug <laughs> it, chug it. No, 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 you don't I'm have to. I'm getting peer pressure. Yeah. No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> because when you thought we were yeah. done, yeah. we're not done. And we're not. We're just more. gonna do, yes. Yeah. No, you know what? I think we're gonna go to this right here because we're gonna. alarm. We're actually going to do this one right here. This right here okay. is the cucumbers. You Cucumber. put a little oh, bit yeah. of this rice vinegar on top. Mm -hmm. You add some sugar, okay. mix it all in, and then you go ahead and put this on the we top. Gotta which is the chili oil. You we gotta, gotta gush it up. Gush it up. How's you gotta that? Gush it up. So we could add a little bit on the top, just like that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh, and then, then we gussied it. Okay. We call it the yeah. drizzle. So you go ahead it's and try drizzle. that. Oh. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta get. Bro, look at that. No, take the whole thing, bro. Take the whole thing. Yes. Go big or go home, man. All right, sounds good. You gotta. I'm gonna dip it in there. Okay. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Wow, that that's a so good one. That's so good, yeah. Okay, you guys gotta try the Maui yeah. Chili Chili Oil. Go to the Wana uh, Showcase 2023 at Bloomingdale's. That's where you can find it or just find them online, of course. And you can pick it up a bottle a or two or three or as many as you need because holidays have coming a up. Happy so customer right that. here. All right. Look at that. Another satisfied and customer. He loves it. All right, you guys. We'll be right back. We're gonna go to break, but you're watching High Now Daily. And it'll be me and Bobby. Yeah. We'll be right back. Let's do it. <laughs> Good, yeah. It just gives just enough.
Hey, joining us here in the High Now studio today, we have Hawaii novelist Tom Peake. Welcome to the show, Tom. Aloha. Nice to be here with you. Mahalo for coming in and talking some story with us. We're going to get to the, the novels that you wrote in just a little bit, but I wanted to ask, what brought you to Hawaii? It was a pure accident. Um, I grew up on an island in the Mississippi River in Minnesota, and one of my aunties that's known me since I was a keiki up and left the island to some place called Hilo, Hawaii, and I came out sort of as a, for the family, whatever happened to her? And she was living in Keokaha, took me up to Kilauea the next day, then to Mauna Kea, and my whole perception of Hawaii was completely changed. After I was hitchhiking through the South Pacific, I couldn't go home. I decided maybe I can get a job in Hilo. Uh, and Hawaii or, Island has that impact on people, doesn't uh, it? It was, and see, I grew up in a really primal place. The, the Mississippi River is a huge natural force. And this was another place like that, but sort of on steroids, right? <laughs> <laughs> And Absolutely, and, so, and so I want to get into these yeah. too, with, with, uh, with you being a Hawaii novelist, I wanted to ask, the, what, what inspires you as a novelist? Well, it's what I've witnessed, primarily the people, because early on I developed a lot of friendships with uh, particularly locals and native Hawaiians, because my first two jobs were working on Mauna Kea as an early tour guide and living on the mountain, and then I was also working as an eruption ranger on Kilauea which meant that I started to connect with people who were connected to the islands. And I had to process that, you know, as the Haole from you know, the mainland, I had to figure out the experiences I was having. And so as a writer, your meditation, your processing is in writing. And um, storytelling is the best way to do it. So that was really why I started to do it. And then as I read chapters to my friends, they would say, you know, bro, you gotta, you gotta get this story out. I love that. And is that, did that lead into a lot of the way that you do your research? Was your experience as, as a guide and, and being uh, in Hawaii Island for so long? Yeah, it's mostly the research I do is a follow-up to what I've experienced. So I, got, I delve into the really old literature to s better understand, you know, what I was experiencing with my friends because I was kind of brought in to the culture at a pretty deep level quickly. Um, and so that's where the research comes in. And from that research, we have these here. Tell us about the copies that you brought in here yeah, today. So to the first novel I wrote, which ended up winning a national award actually, was Daughters of Fire, which was based on the people I knew and the experiences I was having out of my ranger experience. But it also, it's a, both novels, let me say, both novels are page-turning literary adventures. And there's romance and suspense and um, what in literature is called magical realism, but here is just part of the reality, right? But they're serious books too, because they give you an honest uh, uh, picture of contemporary Hawaii that I saw that I, my friends would talk about on my lanai or on their lanais. And so this one is centered around the volcanoes and what happens when a Kona volcano begins to erupt right after they build a big elaborate resort. That's wow. Daughters of Fire. The Mauna Kea book is actually closer to my heart because that was the first place that I really developed an intimate relationship because I was not just working on the mountain, I was living on the mountain and meeting the people connected to it. And then over time, though I, and I was in the astronomy community, but over time I had to leave that and connect to work with my Hawaiian friends to help protect the mountain. So the books reflect that reality, um, but they're not heavy books. I mean, they're page turners. Mm -hmm. People always say, oh, I couldn't put your book down. But at the end, you get a better sense of what's really at stake here in Hawaii. Uh, what I, uh, the way I would put it is these books re reflect the deeper beauty and the often hidden turmoil of, the, of Hawaii. Well, mahalo so much for coming on the show, Tom. And I can't wait for the release of the next book. And thanks for letting us know here on High Now Daily hey, all about it. Thank you very much. Appreciate <laughs> you having me on. Aloha. Thank you so much, Tom. We'll have all this up at HighNowDaily.com. Go get it.
Aloha, and welcome back to Hi Now Daily. It's great being with each and every one of you. If you're looking for a family fun event happening this Saturday, ah. Uh, what are we going to do? Ka-o, 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 elementary ka-o. school. You guys got to come down Kailua. Used to be Lanikai back in the day. Lanikai Elementary. Yes, now yes, it's changed yes. the name. Come on down. Bring the family this coming Saturday, yes. 1 to 6. Uh, and then we're going to talk to Kyoki. And we've got Heather here from the school. And we're going to find out a little bit about the event. Tell us what's going down. All right. Um, well, unlike uh, your standard craft fair event or fair event, we really incorporated a lot of our student body and our staff into this event. And we probably have about 30 student vendors, um, and some of them are private student vendors that have created their own product, and they're going to be selling it at the fair. Some of them are um, clubs that the school um, has, and some of them are grade levels working together to raise money for a charity. All right, well, let's look at what we have here on the table. This is what the second grade made. They got donations, they went out and grabbed some crayons, and then yeah. they went and put it into these incredible molds, and they're yes. going to be selling that, and then yeah. telling me about where all those funds are going. So they voted, so we were able to incorporate this project into a lot of our curriculum. Not only were they able to reach out into the community, they made their own flyers, they're doing their own marketing. Um, then they collected the crayons, processed them, made the, the little crayon, critters mm-hmm. that they're going to sell and they voted on which charity to donate the money to. Uh, the money for this particular class is going to go to the Humane Society. Love that. Mm-hmm. I think the class is a little biased because we just got a new class pet from the <laughs> Humane Society. I love it. And uh, they were all very excited to help support what they do over there um, for all of our local animals. That's nice. So cool. I think, yeah. uh, tell us about the on the end here. What? How do they make these? Yeah. So another cool part of it is our engineering program. The kids are designing and making products that they're going to sell. So this is some of our robotic kids that made these products. But is this an opportunity for them to learn how to do science, technology, engineering, and math in a real way? And then to apply all that in a, in a real life scenario where they're going to be interacting with customers, selling mm-hmm. products, and, and, and figuring out how do I market and do all the stuff. And that's well. 3D printing. 3D bro. printers, yeah. These are 3D printers that are... These are second grade... That's it's, second grade, uh, this is third, fourth, third, fifth, third, so fourth, our, our older kids, yeah. Brother, I can barely use my DVR. Yeah. And these kids <laughs> got it. are 3D printing yeah. yes. all of that. This is where you get yes. all your technology oh, information from the God. elementary school students. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we got to learn from our young kids now because yeah. that's what's happening these days. So again, let's talk about this yeah. Ka'ohau School Fair. It's this weekend. You can yeah. come down 1 o'clock, you said? Yeah, 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock on our campus in Kailua, Ka'ohau, formerly known as Lanikai Elementary. Um, free parking, there'll be knocker ball, there'll be food booths and food trucks, um, um, farm animals. We're so near, the ocean. Yeah. 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 near the ocean. And everything is yeah. right now on your screen. Take a look. It's yeah. this Saturday, November 11th, and you can go over to their Instagram or on their website to find out more. And I heard Penny Dean's going to be there. Kayona's going to be performing all kinds of good stuff. Ooh. So go ahead and check it out. Thank you guys so much for joining You're us. Welcome. This is Ka'o Hao, and go check out their school fair. Come this support weekend. the kids. All right. we'll see you Saturday, guys. <laughs> all right. All for the kids. Woohoo, right here. Uh, yeah. And you can be making money too. They get yeah. 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 They come on, it's amazing. Yeah. We're also-
Hello and welcome to Hainal. Joining us here in the studio is Jan Apo, one of many Ohana that were impacted by the Maui wildfires uh, that took place on August 8th. So first of all, mahalo for being on the show. Uh, and Jan, if you could please share with us a little bit about what your story is. Well, thank you for having me. I'm actually an attorney born and raised in Lahaina. Uh, our family home was right there in the middle of the fires. It's been devastated. There's nothing there on our family property at all. It's just a layer of ash. Uh, it's really amazing how much damage that fire has done. Uh, it's not just my family home, but all of our neighbors, two of my neighbors did not make it out of the fire. Uh, there are, There is no home standing within a mile of where I live. I'm so sorry to hear that. And as an attorney, given your profession, what you're doing every single day, how has it impacted you professionally? After the fire, the first thing that hit me was uh, to account for all of my extended family members. Being born and raised there, most of my extended family still live in Lahaina. So I spent the first four or five days trying to find them. In total, we lost 10 family homes. One of my cousins did not make it out of the fire. Another one suffered extreme burns and she's in Straw Hospital. And because of all that, it became very apparent to me that something had to be done. People were calling me saying, what do we do now? Are we ever going to get compensated for all of these losses? How are we going to rebuild our family homes? How are we going to rebuild Lahaina? And I came to the conclusion that uh, I needed to do something as a lawyer. I put together a very, very good legal team. The best wildfire attorneys were committed to helping me. They flew in that weekend. We had experts on the ground within 72 hours investigating the cause of the fire, investigating how the fire progressed through the town. And by the weekend, we had mapped out an entire case. And for that reason, uh, I am pursuing legal claims to seek compensation for all the victims of the fire. Now, Jan, you've compiled this team, so let's get into a little bit about what uh, resources are available for them from you and your team and uh, how you're allocating them for families that have been impacted. Yeah, we've actually opened a new law office, a separate office on Alamakani Street exclusively for fire victims. Our team is made up of a number of attorneys from Watts Guerra law firm. These guys were preeminent in the campfire case in Paradise in 2018 in California and they flew over everybody and everything we need. They're committed to helping me see this case through. You know, this case is going to take years to get to the end of it. You know, Kaino, August 8th has been devastating to everybody in Lahaina. The people of Lahaina have lost their home They've lost their jobs, they've lost their businesses, and now they've got to figure out a way to survive for the next few years. We're committed for the long haul. We're going to be there with them from the very beginning. We've opened an exclusive office for fire victims, and we will take care of them uh, throughout the course of the case. We are not something that's going to come in, sign up a case, and disappear. We are going to be here with them from now to this thing is all over, whether it takes two, three, four, five years or longer. I understand that some people are not ready to even leave wherever they're staying right now. My office, my staff and our team, we have met people all over the island, outside of Lahaina, through the Central Valley, all the way up to Kula. We have met with people to get them ready for this case. People need to start protecting their rights. People need to start helping us prepare their case and the best thing they can do is simply call us. And if you want to learn more about your legal rights, you can call 808-736-1191. We'll have all this up at highnowdaily.com.
Hey, welcome back to High Now Daily. Did you catch talk story last night with McKenna Maduli? Her dad won the Lifetime Achievement Award, and we're just so, so proud of him. But also, McKenna's been live for about a month now, so let's see a little bit of a reel that we put together on her last, our, her last month. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Talk Story Studios in Kalihi. Studios in Kalihi. And beautiful Kalihi. Happy Aloha Sunday, Kako. Get your popcorn and mochi crunch ready. It's talk Story, live kind style with McKenna Maduli. Thank you. <laughs> it's like everything that you've shared in your vision from the Halal Halamat stage. <laughs> yeah. I'm like. Honest when I say, pleasure to be here. Uh, I've seen everything you've done and you evolved this into something magical and awesome to experience here. So nice to see Dad. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's nice to see my dad too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it! I love it! What is that like? Patience. Uh, How's your hand heavy? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Emptiness is taken on me. Be there. They tell me don't leave. He just said. <laughs> yeah, we got amazing teachers right here in Hawaii who are creators, entrepreneurs, community leaders doing amazing stuff. And it's like we need to get more of that in our school system so yes. that they can actually learn from that and hopefully help inspire and, and help them take action to, to, to do the next steps to help them in their careers. Mm -hmm. It wasn't one of those things I was like, oh yeah, I grew up, I'm gonna be a filmmaker. Um, I grew up in Kalihi. <laughs> yeah. 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 How we can help Maui is really help its people. Mm -hmm. And the way that we help people is to help a lot of the vendors and small businesses. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, Shannon's got one of our best it. designers. Here. <laughs> I see all these people doing amazing things and I just love seeing people succeed. That's why I'm such a big fan of you. Like today we were we were like watching your lifetime achievement award, but like what do you want to share like with people? Like well, how you started? Um, to me it was a blessing. You yeah. Know? And I, like I said uh, at the show, I said uh, number one, I gotta thank Kyokuo. Of course. Congratulations again and mahalo to all of you for joining us. Let's continue the talk story at talkstorynow.com and Instagram at talkstorynow.com. Let's continue to elevate one another. It is truly a kako thing. And shall we have some fun while we do it? Yeah. Hey! Next time I kiss a swimming hole, I kiss her in the water and don't, don't you know, know the state. Amazing. Now you can watch Talk Story live on Sunday nights at 7 p.m. on K5. So go ahead and check her out. Congratulations, now, Kata. Yes. Oh, Hara's Lifetime guy. Achievement I Award. Know. I know. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, so big amazing. congratulations. Uh. Big and congratulations. then, of course, we've got the one and only Bobby oh, Modero Jr., boy. who has been joining me all show long. Rachel, thank love you so, you so much, much I love brother. You too, I gotta I love come you. in. I love you too. Thank you so much, you guys. Just. This was, you know, it's, it's... Made it fun for me. Well, you know, to me, I mean, that's what it's all about, is sharing our aloha. And I've always wanted to do this. And to do it with you is just really cool. So, <laughs> Kainoa, I love Watch you, brother. Watch out, nah. but, Yeah, you can stay home for the next, yeah? I call you, I'll let you know when I'm pal. So, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be showing up. Okay, so Oi, no problem. We'll be doing it all over again, so... <laughs> nah, 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 nah. No, no, I'm busy. I'm busy. Okay, okay. I get a lot of stuff going on. What, what, I'm performing tell, tell everywhere. Everybody, tell everybody where. So, I'm performing... Um, we're at Duke's Canoe Club on Fridays. Uh, every Friday for 22 years. A big shout out to Auntie Carla, Auntie Judy, and all my fans that come out and be a part of us. Love you guys. Uh, so with my band Mauna Lua, with Kahi Kaunohi Okala, Richard Gideon. Um, so being there, 22 years. And wow. I do a lot of the, you know, a lot of solo events as well. So I'm at the Outrigger Canoe Club, Elks, etc. So I'm kind of like a bad Portuguese penny. I keep showing up <laughs> everywhere. But I love it. Gotta love the place. I love that. it. I'm so, oh, you have to. Hello. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> so I'm really, really thankful being here with, with you and sharing my aloha with, with everybody out there. And, and this is what it's all about. Thank you for everything you do. Oh, absolutely. I just over here to just talk story with you and everybody who just comes so on the great. show. I just like hear what they have to say and what they're doing and any way we can help. And this and is what Hawaii is all, all about. about. Once That's again, right. we have a lot to say. And not just because I'm Portuguese. We have a lot to say because we, we 
You know, the world can learn a lot from Hawaii. We're just dots in the ocean. But the culinary arts, the music, the ath athletic ability, you know, surfing and otherwise. I mean, people look to Hawaii for so very many reasons, but it all comes down to one thing, and that's aloha. That separates us from the rest of the world. That's right. I love that so much, and I appreciate you being here with me today. Of course, you're gonna play us out. You got one more song I'm for everybody, play yeah? Us, play us out a song that I wrote for my daughter when she went all the way to the East Coast to go to college. Aww. Yeah, and it was really, really heavy, and I missed her so much, and I was so upset that she went all the way. I could have went anywhere, but she went to the East Coast. <laughs> gotta let and her fly, it, baby. You gotta let the wings go. And it was really amazing because my wife was like, Bobby, will you stop saying you're so sad? She only went to Hilo, but Hilo's <laughs> on the East Coast of the Big Island, yeah? Oh my so God. it's, and everybody's like, oh, she went to Boston. No, she went to Hilo. What? But still, it was too far away. I mean, you had me crying. So, okay, okay, never mind. So, Come song on. that rule, I always told her, if anything crazy happens in her life, follow her rainbow home to me. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. You're living so far from home. Always proud of where you're from. You'll face the future while never forgetting your past. Please know that you can count on me. To help you light your way and see that our land will be within your heart. Baby, we are all so very proud of who you are. Proud of who you become. And if life's storms seem to come into your life, just know that if you need to, you can follow your rainbow back home, yeah. Your road may take you far away. You may feel you've gone astray. There'll be times in life when it's too dark to see. The ocean may be big and blue, but it's what connects us to you. And if you listen, you'll hear your mother.